Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Avatar The Last Airbender book 2 episode number 9 and 10. Alright, the previous two episodes um, we got a little bit of a backstory um, about Zuko, Azula, the Fire Lord Ozai and like you know the Fire Nation. We actually got the background, a uh, little bit some pieces of information about how everything happened you know the whole thing about um iroh uh, like you know losing the, his son and also uh, coming back from the seas giving up and that's why you know like ozai like pulled the strings and i don't know if he actually killed the previous fire lord or not but it really does seem as if he actually killed him you know because like uh, just after that like he mysteriously dies and ozai becomes the fire lord so I'm not sure what happened, we were not given so much information, but it feels as if he actually killed him. We might be wrong, but that and how, like, you know, he really doesn't like um, Zuko, uh, the whole thing with Azula, how she, he prefers Azula and all, like, you know, stuff. And we also see how Azula is pretty um, nasty, selfish, you know, kind of, I, I don't know what to say, like, yeah, she's... She, she's an interesting character i have to say and that and also in the next episode we see uh um, uh what was that um the whole thing with god damn i forgot uh yeah um uh, uh the tof tof and uh them kind of getting into a little bit of a quarrel you know and them with like you know sip de deprived and all azula is going uh after them and like they are able to kind of corner azula with help of zuko but iroh gets hit and i hope he's okay you know like he seemed pretty injured but let's see yeah what happens so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number nine of after the last airbender book two so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown Three, two, one, go. Hmm. Okay. I really hope uh, Iroh is okay, you know. Okay, I should take this off to avoid spoilers. Yeah. I really hope he's f okay, but he's pretty strong. But the way, you know, it got, got him off guard in the previous episode and he got hit by Azula's attack. Oh boy. I don't know. I'm sure he's fine, you know. Yeah, this is Iroh, so. <laughs> oh, okay. Bitter work. Oh, Appa. Taking a little break. Oh, today's the first class. Everyone's sleeping. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um. Oh. Wow, that's an entrance. Sifu? What does Sifu mean? Is this some kind of a way to pay respect, I think? Uh, yeah. Ah! Oh my god. Saka, you're not making any senses. Rockland. Yeah. 
basics. Hmm. Whoa. All right. And you're not like a rock. Become a rock. All right. Wow. Sounds easy. Uh, looks easy. Let's go. And. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Wait, oh, is this Iroh? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't able to recognize him for a second there. Uh. Okay, he's okay. Thank God. Yeah, he's injured, but he's okay. <laughs> T. Oh! You messed up! <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> what the god? <laughs> Alright. Mm. No, no. <laughs> True! <laughs> Yeah, she, she's not someone you can make friends with, I think, at this point. All right. Mm, he himself was not... No, he himself is not like a rock. Ah. <laughs> there you go. No, you're not like a rock. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> um, Katara. Uh, that's not Toph's way of teaching. <laughs> oh my God! Wow. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, he, she made it feel as if it was sand, you know? Okay, he got one. Oh boy. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Nice, there you go. Okay, he's improving. He's improving, there you go. Whoa, good! There you go! Nice! Okay. Yeah, he's, he's learning fast. Whoa, what the? Yeah. Okay, Saka. Oh! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Meat creature. Oh, sh he's teaching him lightning. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> yes.
Oh. Okay. Wow. Woo. Yeah, impressive. Oh no. Ah. Uh, mm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Because what? Oh, what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, okay, never mind. Let's go. All right. Come on, all this training you went through. All right. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's kind of scary. So, oh no. Yeah. Uh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Boy. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh. Wait, what? Is there a reason behind it? Oh, okay. No. Mm, it's so wow. That's a great line. Oh. <laughs> All right. Wait, Saka still stuck? Saka still stuck there. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that a cat? Like, like a mixture of a cat and a and a cow? I don't know. <clears throat> oh, it brought you an apple, but he won't be able to eat. Um, a little <laughs> wow, oh my God, Momo, don't
Opposite. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, that's kind of true, you know. Oh! Nice. <laughs> okay, so Sifu, I think it's kind of like a sensei or something. I think, you know, someone who you respect. Hmm. <coughs> Freedom. <laughs> Perfect for him. <laughs> I could have been an airbender. Change. Okay. Hmm. The inner turmoil. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, in a way. Oh, really? Okay, don't react. What? Um Uh <laughs> Wow God <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, Saka. Oh boy. Saka stuck. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, don't give up your sarcasm. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> God. Yeah, use earth bending. <laughs> Wait, what? No. You need earth bending. Oh my god. Uh, it's kind of hesitating, you know. Wait, is he going to be stuck there? That means? Oh, never mind. Hmm. <laughs> Saka. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? It looks like a cat. 
Oh. Oh no, never mind. There's the mama. Okay, it is a saber-toothed moose. I thought it was a cat. Oh. Yeah, that... Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Oh, wow, that's dangerous, that means. Damn, it needs to be precise. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, it's yeah. <laughs> but he just learned the theory of it. He needs to. Oh my God! Yeah, he he needs some practical experience. But as Io says, it's dangerous. Oh. Hmm. Nah. Yeah. Oh my god. Ooh. Damn. Close. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, nope, it's not going. <laughs> okay, maybe it did work, or maybe not. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, he needs to bend. Wait, it's going away, okay. Hmm. <laughs> <Mm. laughs> wow. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, Saka, you're going, going to get your turn. Okay, there you go. What the? <laughs> Poor Saka. 
Wow. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, he needs more training. <laughs> oh no, so, uh, Zuko is here too. Oh my. Hmm. Okay, it, it did not strike him. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so that was this episode here. <coughs> here uh, we can see that uh, the training of Ang has started, and we always we've always seen that Ang is a fast learner, and. Uh, we also see that in this episode here where Toph teaches him little by little and he actually learns everything quite quickly and um, are able to you know is able to do earth bending and now obviously he was a little bit hesitant in the beginning to because his fear was the thing that actually made him hesitate to properly do earth bending he, he was afraid of the um, you know that big boulder actually coming towards him and crushing him and as Katara says uh, air is the opposite of earth so that is also the, another big reason why he was so hesitating uh, unlike water and probably fire in the future uh, so this is probably for him this is going to be like you know earth bending is going to be quite uh, difficult to learn because of the affinity I can I think you can call it that you know the uh, elemental affinities like you know like opposite like earth is opposite to what uh, air that thing but he, by the end of it he really he kind of conquered it in a way but I'm sure it will not be easy if, you know in the future it will it'll be a bit be quite difficult to learn earth bending but uh, yeah now okay now in the beginning when Toph was training Aang, um, you know, I, we saw how she is, you know, she usually goes, like, what do you call it? Like, you know, like, like as Katara said, that Katara kind of praises him, like, you know, says that, oh, you did this, what a good job, and <clears throat> gives him positive encouragement, whereas <clears throat> Toph is kind of the opposite here, and, like, you know, like, she is kind of does everything the hard way, She's like, what the hell are you doing? Like, you know, do the, like, you know, uh, like, you know, this, like, you know, you, you need to be most powerful. He, he, he kind of uh, does the opposite of Katara. And that's also another way of teaching people. Now, I thought that maybe it will work, you know, because it's like, you know, like, pe different people have different ways of teaching. But at that time, I did not actually think that just like how different people have different ways of teaching different people also have different ways of learning uh not not sorry not, not different way of learning but a, a single way of learning sometimes like for example ang is more uh like you know works well uh by the method which katara uses you know like praising encouraging him whereas this method was clearly not compatible for him so at the beginning, I did not think of it like that. I thought that, okay, Toph is doing it like this, you know, uh, maybe this will work even better. And as we were seeing, like, you know, him being able to do stuff quickly, I was like, oh, maybe this does work better, you know, than the way Katara does. But then by the end of it, she really did get stuck and it did not work. So by the end of it, the way Katara told Toph to do it, uh, that way of like you know encouraging and positive encouragement helped him uh, gain back his self confidence and it, this really you know makes us realize how 
Aang is as a character. Like he, like, you know, he. What can I say? Like, uh, but in a way, it's kind of concerning that, uh, like you know, like what can I say? That, like, as he was getting positive encouragement, he was able to conquer his fear, which. I don't know, which probably means that, uh, you know, in situations where there is nothing positive, you know, he probably won't be able to uh, do stuff well. I don't know, maybe I'm thinking too much into this, but, you know, like, for example, here, as we see, like, I'm, like you know, like in, in a different, different animes and different, uh, like, you know, like, yeah, animes. Like we also saw, like we see few characters who actually do well with this type of a Spartan way of training, you know. <clears throat> Whereas, uh, like, I don't know, like the opposite way, which the way which Katara does stuff, some characters it it does not work with them, you know. Like if people, <laughs> like uh, like you know, if there's if there's a certain character who, if encouraged that that character d starts becoming lazy whereas ang is not like that ang if encouraged properly ang does well and if encouraged in a what do you call it in a, in a spartan way you know he doesn't work well so it kind of i don't know like makes me feel as if like if everything is negative he probably won't be able to grow well now everything is positive here it's all well and good you know so and Toph, you know, like Toph also changed her method of training him. I don't know if someday he meets someone who is unable to train that way, who is kind of, uh, you know, Spartan, and that's the only way that person is able to do stuff. Hank won't be able to learn anything from that. But I don't know, I mean, I, I'm probably thinking too much into this. So yeah, it's nothing that serious. But still, like it kind of made me feel that. But that's his way of learning, you know, like, everyone has uh, different ways of learning stuff. And uh, <clears throat> Aang, <laughs> like, you know, Aang learns well with a little bit of positive encouragement. That was Aang. And we saw that Aang was able to <clears throat> kind of, kind of uh, learn earthbending by the end of this episode whereas uh <clears throat> zuko in his training with um, iroh uh iroh like he, at the first like you know step he kind of failed to actually produce lightning because as uh, iroh said that he's not suited for that unless and until the turmoil in his heart goes away which probably won't unless and until he actually deals with the fire lord so he won't be able to make a lightning so that in itself was kind of like a setback for him and then when iroh tells him that okay like if you can learn that i'll teach you how to redirect lightning so that when i'm sure like you know when azula fires at him he can redirect it somewhere else or redirect it to his enemies <clears throat> so that and iroh teaches him then Obviously, Iroh is a little bit concerned as to since this is quite a dangerous technique, it can probably kill him if he does not do it properly. So he was a little bit hesitating, but I don't know. I think if, especially for these type of things, you need a little bit of practical experience. Otherwise, theoretical, ex like, you know, theoretical study, it works, but not to the extent that you would want it to. So in a way i'm kind of conflicted as to the thing that uh, zuko did afterwards that it, he goes uh, and tries to do it on his own a little bit conflicted because in a way it will actually help him to learn that but at the same time <coughs> he's a bit of a <coughs> what can i say uh, too hasty and a little bit impatient so that might actually harm him in another way you know because Maybe if he gets too hasty, <clears throat> the lightning, <clears throat> instead of like, you know, redirecting, redirecting it through his stomach, he might accidentally redirect it to, through his heart and that will like probably kill him. 
So that's why I was a little bit conflicted. But by the end of it, we actually see that the lightning never does strike him. So like that thing kind of <clears throat> made me realize another thing is I don't know if this, that was a symbolism or anything, you know, that like, you know, like where <clears throat> Zuko is kind of <clears throat> shouting at the sky and saying that, like, you know, you've thrown everything at me. Why don't you throw your lightning at me now? And then he starts crying and the lightning never does struck, strike him. I don't know if that's a symbolism of like, you know, him actually never getting what he wants. You know, it made me feel like that. Like all the time, everything gets thrown on into Zuko. But this time, when he goes, like you know, on top of the mountain and says, like you know, asks the lightning to strike him, and the lightning is falling here and there, but it doesn't strike him. So it's sad to actually think that it never goes his way. You know, I'm not sure if that was like a clever symbolism or anything, but it kind of made me feel like that as if it was some kind of a symbolic thing where like you know Zuko asks for the lightning to strike him but it doesn't so it never actually goes the way he wants it wants it to not only this anything anything and everything doesn't go the way he it actually wants he it he wants it to go so yeah that was Zuko so we can also get a little bit of uh, information on the different nations, you know, how they are, how, like how the water when people like change, you know, like are good with change and they are like, you know, like, uh, what can I say? They practice love, something like that, they say, you know, and uh, the earthbending people are very, you know, rigid and like, you know, what can I say, like endurable earthbending people uh, uh water bending uh, sorry airbending people uh <clears throat> prefer freedom all that stuff and uh, it's kind of interesting to see like you know iro actually talk about all of that and it gives us like a different impression on everything and uh what else um Oh, and by the end of it, uh, <laughs> yeah, like Katara has been with Aang for quite a long while. So she actually, like, you know, knows him a lot better than Toph, who is, was, who met Aang for one or two weeks, I'm guessing. So, like, it was actually uh, favorable for, you know, it was actually, um, what can I say? It was actually better for Toph to listen to Katara because it really did work by the end of it. Like as soon as Toph said that, oh, you've done well, like, you know, you, like you have stood ag against me and survived. So you can do this. And Katara and uh, Aang got his song confidence boosted. And it's very interesting, like, uh, to see how Aang actually does work well with positive encouragement. Like I never really, did think it would work but it did and Katara was right all along by the end of it like I actually see uh, like you know like because I think because we are usually accustomed to like, you know we as uh, people who are watching anime we're usually accustomed to see like you know like not only like most of the shonen animes where like, you know the characters actually go through hell and like you know like this they, they, they get training in very like you know like in a spartan way like you know just like Toph is training him usually most of the animes maximum of the animes that i've at least i've watched and i've seen you know everyone everyone kind of goes through that and that's how they learn so it never really did strike me that there is another like you know you know proper way of positive encouragement that can also teach people so when like you know when katara like uh, uh, when i was seeing this uh, episode when katara comes and tells that you know like uh, ang actually works well with positive encouragement and Toph was like yeah i know you know i'll try and like that i was like yeah like uh, i thought that okay Toph, like you know has it Toph can do this because like you know like uh, my mental what can i say structure was that yeah like these usually work in anime where they like you know train them very hard kind of like you know <laughs> like tirelessly and the characters actually learn from that any anime any shonen anime that you see you'll see this like you know like the spartan way of training and by the end of it they become very strong 
so that's why i was like okay like you know like katara has a point but i think yeah top's way will work but by the end of it i actually realized that no it won't because yeah ang is not that type of a character and it kind of like you know like what can i say made me realize that yeah like the way top trains is not the only way people can learn people can learn in a positive encouragement way as well and there are different people who actually take stuff differently and respond to it differently so it kind of made me realize that by the end of it it was interesting because i i don't think i've seen an anime before where like you know the way katara teaches ang anyone anyone taught anyone like that you know all like you know most of the animes usually it's like a spartan way of training them so it's kind of interesting to see that it's different here <clears throat> and tof actually <laughs> like you know tof actually does uh like you know accept it by the end she's like okay you know what yeah i'll i'll do it like that the way ang actually is comfortable with so i think that was it yeah that was it so all right so that was episode number um 9 yeah episode number 9 so all right the next episode just a sec Mm. all right here we go uh, episode number 10 of after the last avenger so let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and yeah here we go so here's a countdown 3 2 1 go Okay, let's take this off. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Ang is learning now. I'm sure he'll it'll take a little bit more time for him to actually master earth bending because he still has not even mastered water bend. it'll take a lot of time and he's actually doing everything at the same time so it'll take a little bit more time than he would have if he tried everything one by one the library okay hmm oh what what <laughs> Um <laughs> Wow, Momo. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My air off. Map. Ah. It's fucking intelligent. God, Saka is pissed. Ice spring. 
Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, God. What the? Is that a... Oh! Yeah. Okay, so... Wow! Damn! Oh! Mm. Mm. Wait, he doesn't know about the F after? Bossing say! Oh my god. What? No. Oh yeah, he can help. Okay, there you go. Hmm. Crown jewel? Wow. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Oh. Yeah, might. All right. <laughs> what? Wow, never thought anyone would say something like that. <laughs> Uh, well, we have the <laughs> airbender with us. <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, off we go to find the library. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, he can also say some tales, Momo. Hmm, hopefully. <laughs> okay. Wait, really? Um. <laughs> Okay. Maybe it's underground or something. I don't know. Oh. Oh, maybe it's uh yeah, the sand maybe covered it or something. 
that could be it. No, it, it's. I'm sure it's. Yeah, it's underground. Maybe. Wait, what? What's that? Whoa. What? That's a knowledge seeker? Yeah, there you go. That was what I was saying. That's why people are not able to find it. But you can get in through the top, you know? <laughs> no, you can get in. What? Wow, this guy is very diligent. Yeah. Hmm. Well, she can't, you know, yeah. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow, it's nice. Oh. Whoa, huge. What? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Is that one of the knowledge seekers? No, this looks like an owl. Yeah, that is an owl. Hmm, it's a talking owl. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, he came. Oh, my God. Wow, Zao was here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we need to. Okay, there you go. Hmm. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, what does Saka have? Mm, yeah, you know. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> but it'll work. But it'll work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh god
Oh ya. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a knowledge seeker. Mm. <laughs> What? Oh. Come on, Saka, don't take uh Saka, come on. Oh boy. Ah. Uh, uh. Uh, don't Okay Oh Hmm Oh, you can Oh. Hmm. Ooh. Oh God. Good. Whoa. Wait, what is this? Oh, it is a planetarium. Oh. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't think so. He wouldn't tell you otherwise. What? Okay. <laughs> mm. Was that an eclipse or something? Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Whoa, what's the matter? <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah. Not evil, but Hmm. Oh no. Whoa. What? Is he breaking? Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Oh my god, okay. Yeah. Okay, can Dolph sense anything? <laughs> Ladder is sinking. Oh no. Yeah. Oh! Okay, she dumped it. Oh my god! Oh no! Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, this guy. Wait, what? Whoa! Oh my god, it's those guys! What? Who are these people? Huh. <laughs> yeah. But it's going to take a lot of time, you know? Like, imagine... My god. They're doing this one by one. Alright, there you go. few months all right oh my god wait are they trying to capture up yeah oh no oh Oh no! What? Oh god! Okay! Oh no. God, this is a... What? <laughs> but you did not learn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Go. Okay. Oh boy.
all right okay they're out tough yeah yeah okay she can let it go oh no now appa is kidnapped Oh god. What the hell? Okay, uh this ended in a very uh what can I say? Boy. Okay, um so this episode here. Uh we go to uh you know here we get to the underground underground yeah underground um library where which has a lot of knowledge and the i forgot his name the owl he is supposed to be you know the what do you call it the protect not protector but the one in charge of that place and he has seen a lot of as he said like you know like i've seen a lot of people actually come here abuse the knowledge and that's why he does not take kindly to humans and you know that's why here uh we also see him not taking kindly to ang and his crew now what what he is coming where he's coming from is understandable because this is just a place of knowledge now people do misuse that and in a way the things that ang you know ang's crew are doing is if you look at it purely through a neutral perspective it it is also kind of you no know, you making use like i'm not going to use the term abusing but i'm going to say that it's like making use of this knowledge for something else now obviously like the owl he you know he he just doesn't want anyone to misuse the knowledge he wants other people to know about the knowledge but you know keep it at that like learn about stuff but don't misuse it so that's like the pure what can i say you know definition of gaining actual knowledge that is like you know everything you learn everything but you don't misuse it or don't use it for bad stuff whereas obviously humans are you know like we are a little bit of a not little bit but quite a bit of greedy you know and uh, people like you know, there are different types of people so just like we saw how zao came here and what he did you know like gain knowledge from there and uh, use it misuse it so like this i can I, I can kind of get where the owl is coming from but that won't work here you know like what what the actual thing here is as i said the owl is in a neutral position but the avatar cannot be in a neutral position he needs to be in a position which is better for the world he needs to be in the good guy's side otherwise like that's his main purpose you know after us main purpose that is help the people and protect the world so to be like that he cannot be neutral he needs to be in the good guy's side so obviously to do that he also needs to make use of these knowledges so it was kind of like a clash of what can i say mm, clash of their what do you call it you know uh like the position they are in the owl he just wants people to learn and he just wants this knowledge to not be misused but ang needs to do that now ang needs to make use of that knowledge to defeat the fire benders otherwise you know the, the world will be in danger so that's why 
like you know like it, it the, the thing that happened the ultimate result i think it couldn't have been avoided because they needed to get in by any way possible and uh now time is also a factor here I could say that yeah if they had a lot of time you know five six years they could probably you know like go back from here and try any other method to actually gain more information they could do that but the time is also not here they need to do this quickly and they found a good way to actually um, get to the bottom of this that's why they took the chances you know Ang, Saka all of them and by the end of it they had to lie lie in a way you know to, to to the owl to actually get in and get the knowledge the information they needed because in a way it was kind of a lie when you know the owl asked that you won't use it for you know your own stuff because you won't misuse it and <laughs> like you know like they were like yeah this is the avatar like he won't do anything like that but they need to tell that little light for actually you know for the world to be actually uh you know to stop the uh, firebenders so nothing could be done here in a way because they have no time no leads to actually do this and yeah this was the best way for them to actually gain the required information and they did that and Saka was kind of a little bit, what can I say, desperate here, as we can see in the end, where he actually says that you guys go, like, you know, I, I, we need to find out the solar eclipse, uh, solar eclipse, yeah, uh, as soon as possible. And uh, he went there and, like, you know, did that with Ang. So, I don't know, like, it was definitely necessary to do this. But, in a way, kind of feels bad to actually deceive someone you know that owl especially when he trusted them it kind of feels bad and uh but uh, i don't know like there were no other choices here so it feels a little like you know bad by the end of this episode because we actually deceived the owl and he had to like you know destroy the whole place so that no further people d does this and also at the same time uh, the guy who was so like, you know obsessed with knowledge he also decided to stay there and uh, i think I, I don't think he died but he'll probably i don't know what will happen to him like how will he even get food in there you know i don't know the owl is also there so who knows maybe he'll survive maybe the owl, owl will feed him or something i don't know <laughs> hopefully <laughs> so yeah but he is there with his knowledge you know the thing that he wanted so yeah okay that and uh, <laughs> now apa's kidnapping those guys at the beginning from the beginning were actually harassing apa now i don't know what they want with him most probably they're trying to sell him or something i, I don't know like they, they did not bother uh you know messing with the others like ang or toff toff was also there they did not bother messing with them they only like you not know, took appa with them so i'm guessing they are basically most probably trying to sell him or something so it's kind of a uh, I don't know now this, here's the problem now how like, they're in the middle of a desert so how are they even going to find him on foot they need, they need to first get back and could probably use air vending to go quickly you know to move quickly but I don't know uh, I, oh maybe maybe they're not that far ahead maybe they can catch up with them I don't know who knows and like Appa has always been with you know Aang so it's kind of it's not you know sad to see that Aang crying in the end like he, he got very very much affected by you know getting to know that Appa has been taken 
and Toph obviously she could not do anything in that situation because first of all that was like a disadvantage situation number one the as she's explained the sand was kind of you know messing with her here like it's not something that she's accustomed with so she could she's basically kind of blind here in a way because as she said like you know i kind of see everything in a fuzzy manner so that's why when they came she was kind of like flailing around wasn't probably able to properly able to you know track where they are and at the same time you know like she had to hold the uh, building from collapsing so you know all those things kind of uh what can i say it's kind of a problem now one thing i've always wondered i've always wondered why appa himself doesn't fly you know like all the time i've seen like you know when someone gets on top of him and says yip yip unless and until that he doesn't fly so is it like so is that what it is like he himself isn't able to take the decision to start flying because he if he himself was able to fly i doubt he would have been captured like if, if people tried to capture him he could just start flying so that means i've also seen, like you know like i've seen this before as well like he really doesn't fly unless and until someone like, you know climbs on top of him and says yip yip so maybe that's like uh something that he needs to fly you know that's like a magic word or something i don't know i've always wondered this most probably it's something like that and uh, yeah so so we're probably going to resume it from here in the next episode now i've i've, I've seen like you know I've, uh, i think someone told this that uh, this like you know the second season starts making the episodes um, ep uh, not like you know uh, like unlike the first season where every like you know episode was kind of a single story here it kind of carries on to the next episode it starts like you know becoming kind of uh, uh, you know like a bigger story which is connected to one episode or like a few episodes so that's why like you know everything kind of gets more fleshed and more uh, better so i think this is the first yeah it's the first episode in this season where we actually see that where this episode will probably be connected to the next episode in a way it's because you know like appa got kidnapped now uh in the next episode we'll probably see them trying to get back from here and trying to track down appa that'll happen most probably in the next episode so yeah all right is there anything else No, I don't think so. Yeah, that was it. So yeah, kind of ended in a... Ah, uh, what can I say? Uncomfortable way. Because we don't know what will happen to Appa, what they will do now. But yeah, hopefully everything goes well and they're able to find their way back and find Appa back as well. So yeah so yeah guys that was it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to after the last airbender uh book 2 episode number 9 and 10 so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed be sure to comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of after the last airbender so until then goodbye and have a nice day